Hi everyone! New video and new video about stencils. Stencils, in my opinion, are fantastic when we want to add something more to our designs. Um, we can use them for simple designs, for uh, last-minute decorations, or even for more complex or difficult designs. Um, they're basically good for any type of surface. They're good for wood, for fabric, for tin, for plastic. They're good everywhere. Um, we can use them when we want to add something to a specific subject of our design, like I did here for the scarf of the snowman. And as you can see, the decoration is very, very detailed, so it would have taken me forever to get it done by myself. But with the stencil in like 30 seconds, it was complete, so that was really, really, really helpful. Um, we can also use stencil to um, decorate the entire background of our designs. And in this case, I have this surface that needs to be done. So let's do it together. Okay, so um, we need a surface, of course. And this is a wood surface that I actually like a lot. I used it also for other designs um, that basically you can find on my website. Um, there's the fall design, the winter or the spring design and in every design I painted the same thing but in three different ways. So basically um, you can learn three different techniques in the same project. Um, so here what I did is I sanded the surface with the sanding pad. then. I sealed the wood with multi-purpose sealer by DecoArt Americana and this is actually a product that I use every time I paint on wood because it really seals the wood very well so for me it's really easier to, to float color afterwards. So when when the sealer was dry, I sanded again the surface and then I base coated with two coats of Lamp Ebony Black by DecoArt. Okay, so for this background of course we need also a stencil and I decided to use this decoration here because it's very very Christmas decoration but actually uh, this stencil is part of a set where there are other Christmas decoration and it's uh, Tim Holtz collection set number 19 and last but not the least I have my stencil brush and this is by Dynasty, it's Stencil Pro and the size is half of an inch and I think it would work well for, for this, this size of, of surface but there are other, other sizes, for example this one is 5'8 or the smaller is 3'8 but there are any sizes anyhow okay so I think we can start all right so my brush is ready now uh, what I did is I secured the stencil with some tape here so it's easier for me to to work without the stencil moving and the color I'm gonna use is festive green by DecoArt and that's the metallic line because yeah I'm working on a Christmas design so I want a background that's shining and bright okay uh, what we need to keep in mind when we are working with stencils is that we need to be gentle uh, meaning that we don't have to press too hard on the brush 
or we don't have to uh, pick up too much color because otherwise we are gonna have a messy decoration so we just need to take some color like this and work it well on our palette and then just to be sure I take the excess off and then I start wrapping on the surface with kind of circular motion in every which way and of course I will have some areas where the color is showing better and other areas when it, it's not but it's okay and when I think I need to take some more color I just take a little bit more and I work it again on my palette and then I continue always gentle don't press too hard there is no need to and then I continue until I finish all the stencil And before removing completely, I can always check and if I like the result, which I actually do, I take it away and then I finish all the surface. And I'll see you later. Okay, so the background is finished and it's ready for the main design. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video and that this video will be helpful for you and I'll see you next time. Bye!